So there, I did a, a, a conference with um, Maddie All In. I don't know if you know Maddie from, yes, from yes, his yes. yearly hex conferences. And uh, fantastic guy. Inside of there, I basically detailed, and this I forget who originally showed me this, but basically he described hex as a Veblen good. And so for those of you guys tuning in for the first time, a Veblen good is a good that's that's price rises, um, and its demand rises with its price. Versus like a typical good where as price goes up, people don't want as much of it. Like food, if food gets super expensive, you're just gonna mm -hmm. you're just gonna opt out and buy cheaper food um, because you don't you know you don't need to have you know hundred out hundred fifty or thousand dollar meal every time you go out to eat right you don't need these crazy high but in the turn in case of hex which provides a consistent yield built into the, the protocol um you know if you're make if you have a money printer and it's printing you money and every day the amount of money it's printing you is going up and you're telling your friend and then they buy some money printers and then they're printing money every day and then the money printer keeps printing them more dollars this network effect has an even more compounded effect and this is proven in the past price performance of hex um let me see if i can find the chart here i always and, i term this people love expensive shit and the point is that as the as the yellow line goes up it increases at a more uh vertical uh slope as the price went up so actually the largest and quickest increase in stakers occurred between 20 and 56 cents last uh in 2021 yeah that's really interesting isn't it so people are staking well, not at the worst time, but it's yeah, people are piling in then. Yep, yep. Because because I mean, technically the 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 t the t-shirt rate will take care of you. The 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 staking will take care of you if you do it now at this point in the cycle at the blow off top. If you stake long enough to make it through the bear market, right? But if you you are your own enemy in a situation like this where you buy the top and you stake it. Um, and then try to like, you know, you see the price going down, you're like, oh crap, I don't understand it. I just, you know, aped in, you know, and I don't understand anything and I got to exit EES and then you're getting wrecked on penalties and you're getting, you're, and you're selling it at a loss. This is what not to do. And this is why it exists is because this protects this investor class that comes in and chases the green candle. Yeah. That Veblen good thing. I, I, when I did economics at school, which was a long time ago, um, it was called a Giffin good, I think, but, um, yeah, same similar sort of thing, I think. Um, that's absolutely awesome.